Hello, everybody. It's that college football guy here in the video. Thanks, everybody, for the well wishes in the community post to put out um, and those who messaged me. Um, yeah, bad seafood, food poisoning for everybody. Everybody was down. Uh, everybody's back up today. I, I went and drove yesterday. I'm here in South Carolina, made my delivery this morning, and I have to sit until 4 p.m. to deliver. It is 11, just past 11.45, 11.46 in the morning, Eastern Time. Um, I'm going to wait four hours to get loaded up. So I can go down, I wait three and a half so I can go down there and start waiting in line. Two videos I have pushed off for a while. One I'm doing today, which is the transfer portal update. The second one is going to be pushed off a little bit longer, and that is the coaching carousel. Now, some subscribers have asked me, and, and people have messaged me, asked me about transfer portal and um, the coaching carousel. I'm waiting on the coaching carousel until Michigan gets done and they have their offense and defensive coordinators set. Once that's done, I'm going to catch everybody up with all the put coaching moves I do in the carousel. I'm not going to do position play positions. Head coach, offensive, defensive coordinator. I feel the, the coordinators are important because they may be the head coaches of the future. Position coaches usually don't. There's exceptions to the rule, but position coaches usually don't. But now... Let's get into this here. So, it is slim pickings in the portal for terms of availability. Folks, in the top 300 players who have put themselves into the portal, there's only 10 who haven't decided where they're going yet. Just 10 in the top 300. And there is a like a little bit of a gap, a little bit of a gap and there's a big drop-off at the end. The last four, there's a big drop-off. Um, five four stars available, five three stars available. I'm going to go through, tell you who they are, what position they are in the overall top 300, and what school they left. Then I'm going to go through and give you the top 10 in the portal rankings. This is all based on 24 7. And as requested, I'm going to do the top five transfer portal rankings for the group of five. So. Best player available who has not committed is Takaro Davis, a former four-star corner, 51st in the portal overall, who left Arizona. Uh, second best available is former four-star halfback Rashad Amos, number 84 overall. He left Miami of Ohio. Um, third best available, former four-star tight end Benjamin Eurosek, number 102 overall. He left Stanford. Uh, fourth best available Former four-star corner, Denver Harris, number 141 overall. He left LSU. Fifth best available, former four-star offensive tackle, Palu Fanau, number 159 overall. He left Washington. Uh, sixth best available, former three-star quarterback, Jordan McLeod, number 160 overall. He left James Madison. Uh, seventh best available, former three-star wide receiver, Audrick Harris, um, number 263 overall. Yeah, from 160 to 263. That's the drop-off. He left Arizona. Number eight, eighth best player available, Peyton Waters, former three-star safety. Number 264 overall. He left Washington. Ninth best available, former three-star safety, Vincent Holmes, number 267 overall. He also left Washington, so that's three from Washington. And 10th best available from a three-star corner, Tyreek Chapel, um, number 288 overall, who left Texas A&M. Now, for the transfer portal rankings, number one is Old Miss, 17 commits, one five-star, seven four-stars. Uh, number two is Texas A&M, 23 commits, second most on the list. No five-stars, but eight four-stars. Number three is Oregon, only 11 commits. One five-star, five four-stars. Number four is Florida State with 15 commits. No five-stars, but 10 four-stars, the most of anybody in the top 10. Number five is Louisville with the most, 26 commits. No five-stars, five four-stars, which means you have 21 players, three stars or less for context. Number six is Colorado with 23 commits. No five-stars, six four-stars. Number seven is Texas. Talk about a contradiction here. Louisville had 26 commits, their fifth. Colorado has 23 commits, their sixth. Texas is seventh with only eight commits. One five-star, 
five four stars. Number nine is Ohio State with only six commits, but two five stars, the most, and four three stars. Number nine is South Carolina with 20 commits, no five stars, four four stars. And number 10 is NC State with only 11 commits, no five stars, four four stars. And for those who want to troll me with Tennessee, yeah, Tennessee only was 20th in the transfer portal rankings, but they only had eight commits. Those of you who wanted to troll, you can troll. Now, for the group of five, top five, we're going to go five to one. Because you think of the group of five, who's going to get the most, most of them, right? Get some ideas in your head. Number five is Memphis, who's 68th overall. They had 17 commits. Number four is East Carolina, number 65 overall, with 13 commits. Number three is UNLV, number 62 overall, with 12 commits. Number two is Marshall, number 59 overall, with the most 21 commits. And number one in the transfer portal among the group of five is Tulane, number 56 overall, with only 13 commits. Tulane getting it, you get it. Marshall, number of them, you get it. East Carolina, Memphis got up there with a 17. East Carolina, UNLV got in because of quality. And I hear some of you saying UNLV's been a dog program for a long time. Why? This is what I've said about UNLV for a while. And maybe some of you haven't gotten this. Name me a place that has more crazy free money than Vegas. Maybe people related to the casinos, celebrities, actors. The UFC gets behind UNLV and NIL. How much money could they throw around to get people in? Well, there's your proof. Third best among a group of five. In the top 65. None in the top 50. So all the top 50 were, were, five school, were power five schools. And I have to say SMU is in there because SMU is now in the ACC. Because this was toward, this class counts toward the ACC. Um, because they're not going to be in the group of five and join this transfer class. They're going to be in the ACC and join this transfer portal class. So that's why they're a power five school in terms of the portal here. Um, yeah, slim pickings in the portal. Now, how many players leave Michigan? We haven't heard anything yet. But Sharon Moore is talking to the players. And there may be some hitting the portal. As of the, the time I recorded this video... Not quite noon here Monday morning. Um, it hasn't happened yet. But we'll see. I'm expecting a couple... Excuse me. But nothing substantial. Um, I said the power... Portal, I said group of five on there. But don't you... Instead of me mumbling here and talking about this, why don't you, what you think about this down in the comments? So thanks, everybody, for watching the video. As I said, if you listen to the rankings for who's available, it's slim pickings. This is not get a star player for your team. This is what hole do you need to fill and are they better than what you got? This is going to be one of those points. Uh, so again, thanks everybody for watching. If you haven't done it already, do me a favor. Smash the like button. Hit the thumbs up. It helps the algorithm. helps the video be seen by more people. Comment on the video. I love interacting with all of you, so please comment on the video. That also helps. Sharing the video also helps. Check out some of the other videos I've done. And if you like them all, subscribe to the channel. You know, we just passed 500 subscribers on the way to 600. Onward and upward. Um... We'll see how it goes tomorrow, how things are going. Like I said, that, that those of you who are thinking to, tomorrow is going to be the head coaching one, unless Sharon Moore makes his decisions on who his offense and defensive coordinator are going to be and he didn't pull from a coordinator somewhere else. Once all that gets set, I'm pretty much that's when I'm going to do my, my, my coaching carousel video because it'll get all of it done in one shot. So we don't have to worry about this. And Oh, yeah, he moved. Oh, yeah, he moved. Try to catch everybody up on all the craziness that's gone on. There's enough of it. Uh, but I do have a video idea for a video yesterday, which some people... <sighs> I'm going to get the spoiler tag out right now. There are a group of people that I've talked to on a message board. Number one, message board. So we already know they're not fully there most for the most part. Who fully believe that Clemson's going to end up in the Big 12. Because the SEC won't want them. Yeah, I kind of thought the same thing. 
Um, <laughs> so again, thanks everybody for watching. Hope everybody's having a great day this morning. About to be actually technically now it is the afternoon. Um, be safe. I mean the afternoon. Be safe out there. Cops checking for speeders on the interstates here in South Carolina. And yesterday they were doing it in Tennessee and Georgia. So be safe out there and please be good to each other.